gonna stay here. Okay, you can stay there. All right, here we go. All right, guys. So I thought I'd show you what happens to your compost pile when you have way too much nitrogen material in it and not enough carbon. So let's head over to my composter that I have not touched in months. My wife just keeps adding uh, nitrogen based things like food scraps. This is what will happen. You'll get black soldier fly larva. Uh, the, the soldier flies will lay their eggs in your rotting uh, food. Oh, <coughs> oh man, it stinks. It almost makes me want to gag, but you'll get uh, thousands of black soldier flies. I just put this watermelon in there yesterday. Um, there's a whole watermelon that we didn't eat and it was starting to crack. And they've pretty much, to, I think they pretty much ate the whole watermelon. But that's insane. They ate the whole thing in like a 24 hour span. So they definitely will break down. <coughs> oh man, it's making me gag. It smells so bad. Um, there are some benefits to black soldier flies. If you have like chickens, you can actually feed these guys to your chickens. Uh, they're supposed to be really high in protein and good for the birds. They do make their own, uh, you know, black soldier fly uh, poop, which you can put in the garden. Uh, so they definitely are breaking down the food. It just stinks uh, really bad. So I thought I'd share with you guys my little black soldier fly problem <laughs> that I have in my composter. Pretty stinky. What do you think about those stinky flies, Blake? Pretty soon I'm going to dump these out and start a new pile and get rid of the soldier flies. I could actually make a black soldier fly box and grow them. A lot of people grow them for their birds. You guys can look online and actually find see how to make a black soldier fly uh, box and then when the soldier flies are mature enough they'll actually crawl out of the pile and you can uh, make it so they fall in a bucket and then you can feed those to your animals or whatever kind of birds you have Seven. all right guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video on what not to do with your compost heap <laughs> definitely make sure you have enough carbon in there to get that pile nice and hot to keep those soldier flies out. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And Lily and Blake, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye, Blake. <laughs> Mama, Daddy. What is it? Um, can you call the cat for me? Sure I can.